Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. You say I'm, I'm ready to take the next step. What probably is suggested is Paul Harris. His, his books are incredible. So creative, like so poetic, yeah. all the tricks and everything. Yeah, I mean, it should be included on everybody's. Yeah, everyone should have yeah. all, all three Art of Astonishments. There's close up seductions. Now, I figured, like, when you got asked about this original, I figured a little envelope wrapped in leather would arrive, right? Yeah. And it'd be a hooded character that hands it to you, right? And it had the initial or the, the, the signature on it, and you open it up, and it's... It's his invitation to work with, you know, Paul written Harris. Written yeah. on like handmade paper. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of dust. With like a quill pen. out of you it. Yeah. All the pressure points that he wrote. I figure that's, that is how it happened, right? That is 100% how it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True statement. You heard it right here True. on Magicians Talking Magic. Yeah. So if you're waiting to work with Paul, when you get that fancy envelope, in the, that's the sign. No weather changes or anything before? I no, can't, no, talk, I can't oh. talk about that part. Sorry. That's the part you can't talk. But it's a great trick, yeah, and you it's should a, check it. We'll leave the yeah. So the trick trailer. is yeah. The trick is Dynamite. You were you filmed you helped film the demo. I, I yeah. We had a beautiful day in fall last year, and we in Guelph University. Yeah, we had we to roam to, around and, and do magic on and on, pretend to be students. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, yeah. We kind of I don't. Uh, hopefully Guelph doesn't see this, but I think no one will from Guelph. But um, it was fun because we just kind of ambushed the students there and. I think we pitched it as, so this is like a good tip if you're filming a, a product for a trick, right? Um, we went in there and we just said, hey, uh, my name is Graham slash Gramazing, because that's how I'm going to introduce myself all the time. And we presented it like, I have a brand new magic trick that I want to share with the world. It might end up on YouTube. It's going to end up online. Are you okay with being in the video? And by that point, you'd be recording. We get all this on tape so that we have that confirmation and everything. And then right. I'd present Paul's trick. And this trick is a, it's a really good effect. It's a full routine. You get a cute little magic trick at the start, yep. right? That, that kind of breaks the ice, yep. helps bring people in. An opener. Fo an opener, a perfect opener, followed by an incredible mentalism piece that you do close up where you're predicting someone's thought of word and it's on the back of playing cards that you had clearly in a wallet the entire time. It's really a take off his original uh, Deep Astonishment. The reactions uh, during all of the filmings was solid. Like every one of them was Super that one crazy. there on the bench when we were filming the, the the group at the bench. It was great. Yeah. Total authentic, just like totally fried. And when we'd ask them, like, how do you think it happened? They all, a lot of people are like, I don't know, maybe you tapped into my brain somehow. Or And that's, if you're doing this kind of stuff, that's the reaction you, you're aiming for. Right. Uh, I've seen some comments online of people questioning the routine. Like, I don't get this, this first part to get there. But if you really analyze any of Paul's work, it's all kind of cute and fun and then becomes so amazing. Because to Builds. get to, to get to that amazing part, like you, on stage, you got to like build rapport with the audience and everything. you can't just go, who was the first person you kissed? Right. Right. It's so <laughs> that's creep show. Right. That's creep show. Putting it's a well-structured routine. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It gets everyone on your side and then you reveal the incredible magic word and then everyone's floored. It's perfectly set up. I mean, great piece. It's Paul, so right. Yeah, great piece. Yeah, totally. It was awesome. so so much fun to film. I enjoyed being part of that. Yeah, so. yeah, and it's fun to get to talk magic with Paul because I remember we talk about the routine and talk about uh, the editing of the trailer and everything like that. Yep. Um, and I would bring up ideas like, "Well, what do you think about this? Should we show that?" And Paul would be like, well, "Let's talk about that." And you know, as a kid that grew up on his books, they're like, "I'm." I'm chatting magic philosophies with Gandalf right now. Right now, live. Yeah. On the phone. Yeah. So that was a real treat. Super cool that we got to do that. Um, I highly suggest the trick. I think it's an awesome trick. Yeah, Penguin. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. And you got to give it at least a couple good performances. And we're not <laughs> affiliated with Penguin. We're just. We, there's no affiliation with any of this. Like, no. we are done with the project. There's no, no reason to do this. I just, we just want to talk about it. I think it was really it's a great cool. great piece. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, it was a lot of fun.